Hello, Rodrigo, how are you? Rodrigo. Rodrigo, you okay? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Ooh, very busy. <laughs> ah. Yes. I was trying to study something about the speaking section. Okay. Yes, but I didn't finish studying it. <laughs> well, but we will do it together. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So yes. what did you learn or what did you study about the speaking section? Do you have to uh, well in in one in, in one type of question we have to fir first um uh, read the questions and then listen and and the other ones are um let's see uh, we have a, a 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to speak and we don't have to speak so 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 fast so quickly um what else we have to speak at a normal pace. Oops. Well, I I didn't read all of them because it it, it is too much material. Yes, it's quite a bit of a material. But yes, you're right. Many people when they do when they think of speaking test, they always assume that you have to go very fast in the speaking test. Mm -hmm. It's not you have to go very fast. Is you have to be very clear. Yes. Your answers have to be very easily understood. They have to answer the questions. They have to give information and details and supporting. So yeah, that's the most important. Yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. I see we have several people here. Great. So before we get started, let's take a quick moment. We're going to make just a few groups very quickly and catch up about your weekend. With your partner, how was your weekend? What did you do? Was everything nice? And then we're going to go for it, okay? Okay, sir. Perfect. So that's what we want to do. Just take a moment with your partner and catch up on your weekend before just quickly three minutes, and then let's get started.
Hello, Andrea. Good evening. How are you? Carlos? Carlos. Okay, so like I said, it's just a quick exercise to get us started for this evening, talking a little bit about your weekend, your activities, why it's important because this week we're going to be focusing on speaking, speaking exercises, speaking activities, and it's different. For example, in this moment with your partner, you talked, you spoke. How was your weekend? What did you do? Where did you go? Oh, that's nice. But in the speaking exam is completely different. For example, when you talk to the person face-to-face -face, or like in this case on the computer, you take a moment and you answer instantly. Oh, I went to here, I went to there. When you do the speaking test, it's not like this. When you do the speaking test, you have time before you can speak. They give you a questions and then you have 15 seconds or 20 or 30 seconds before you answer. One, also the type of questions you are asked are not like the ones that we normally talk about. And they have different types of questions. For example, right now, conversation. But today we're going to learn the different types of questions in the speaking because they have speaking questions like integrated questions and others. And all of them have important things that you need to remember when you answer. So before we begin watching the video and learning about the speaking section, do you have any questions? Not sure. Hmm? Not yet. <laughs> All right. Well, don't worry. Together, we're going to learn and watch a video to help us get even better with speaking questions. Let's go over the speaking section. This is what you will find. Integrated questions 3 and 5 and integrated questions 4 and 6. Going over each type of questions will help you get better results. So stay for the explanation and watch the examples. Okay, so let's take a look at which types of questions we have. We already know that we're going to look at so what you will find three and four and five and six, right? These are the type of questions that we're going to be looking at. We're going to have integrated and these are the four types that we're going to be looking at today. So first, questions three and five, okay? What are they and how are they scored? And then questions number four and six. What are they and how are they scored? Welcome to the speaking section. We'll now go over speaking question three and five. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, a scoring criteria, a scale building tips. Here we're going to look at how the questions are structured and what they're asking, how to approach the questions, how your responses are scored, and we'll give you some tips for improving your speaking skills. Question three, read a passage, listen to a response, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they are structured. In question three, you will read a passage about a campus-related topic. Then you will listen to a response to that topic. 
Then you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question five, listen to a conversation. 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question five, you listen to part of a conversation. Then you'll have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what these campus situation questions look like. Okay, so before we look more closely, let's get a couple of the things correctly. First, you have two different times to prepare, right? How much do you have for questions number three? Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Thirty seconds. Question number three. Uh huh. And twenty seconds. Question number five. So you have a little bit more time to prepare for the first question. But for both questions, how long do you have to speak? Sixty. Sixty seconds. Correct. Sixty. Correct. Seconds. There are different times to prepare, but both questions you have to speak for one minute, 60 seconds. Now, one minute is not a long time, but when you are speaking for an exam, you feel like, oh my God, <gasps> I never finish. It, you <laughs> but when you are speaking with your friend, with your family, oh, in the cafeteria with a beer, with a coffee, you spend three hours speaking and you don't feel the time. But believe me, on the exam, one minute, you're going to feel ooh, very hard. Why? Because of the type of ways that they ask you. If you saw type three is very peculiar, you get information, you receive information, then you listen to information, then you need to defend or go against, or you need to explain why the author said that. They give you different types of questions. So. Does the author agree or does the speaker agree or disagree? And then you have to state it, okay? Today we're gonna to be looking at all of those types of things and how to make it even better when it's your turn to do it. 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Now let's look more closely at what these campus situation questions look like and what they will be asking you to do. For question three, where you have both reading and listening passages, you will be asked what the opinion is of a speaker in the listening passage, and you will need to explain how that person's opinion relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So, you're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where the listening passage is a conversation about a campus problem and... Okay. Let's summarize question number three one more time. You're listening, right? You're reading, and then you have to do the summary of the problem and the summary of the person's answer. Let's listen to that part one more time to be clear in question number three. What exactly are we doing? Three, where you have both reading and listening passages, you will be asked what the opinion is of a speaker in the listening passage. So you have to explain also the opinion. They agree, they disagree, they are happy, they are sad. What is their opinion that they're stating? And you will need to explain how yeah. that person's opinion really... Thank you, Walter. Please tell me. My question. Okay. And the part of the section of speaking, I understand. Um in the exam, uh, I need to read every a complete a complete question or or I don't know. I hear about that question. Both. They have two different types. In number three, you need to read, and number five, you're going to listen. After that, I need to 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 count 60, 60 seconds. You don't in order. Count the computer automatically has for you to record and the computer automatically gives you 20 seconds and then say, now you have 20 seconds to prepare your answer. The common question is, 
I need to listen that question or Correct. I need to... So the first question, question number three, uh -huh. you're going to read a document uh -huh. or an article. Then you're going to listen to a person comment on the article or they speak mm -hmm. about the information. Then okay. your question is summarize the article and express the speaker's opinion. Okay, got it. Okay. Okay. Relates to the issues presented in the reading passage. So you're essentially summarizing and combining information from two sources. For question five, where the listening passage is a conversation about a campus problem and one or more solutions, you will need to describe the problem and then give your opinion about what the solution should be. Approach tips. Don't speak too quickly. Let's speak at a normal pace. Time yourself when you practice. How to approach these kind of speaking questions. Number one, be careful not to speak too quickly because this might make it difficult for the reader to understand you. This is very important, especially when you have a lot of ideas about the topic or if you get nervous. And when you get nervous, many people try to, they speak with a higher pitch and they speak faster, right? So this is one of the symptoms. So the idea is you can speak, but you need to speak that it's clear, right? Because sometimes when the people are speaking, you don't go like that, and you will not understand them exactly. And huh? Huh? What? What? In the listener, a lot of points that you lose. Why? Because you didn't pronounce correctly. You blended the words. The sounds are not separated. It's not clear your grammar. And you lose a lot of points. Hey, teacher. Uh, yes, Walter. Uh, um, okay. Uh, the common question probably is, um, for example, I think... Uh, what um what solution about problem i don't know some something like that about question but if during a 60 second and i it's so difficult to to give a exactly answer but if i speak but not related to the answer is come to a, a good for that exam, that answer or not? No, because you didn't understand the question. Oh, okay. Then, but but mm -hmm. but in the section to speak, if I I continue to speak, but not related to the the, the answer, my mm -hmm. answer. I, I don't know how to evaluate that that answer in my case, for example. Okay. Um pupusas, hot chocolate, yeah. are my favorite things. Uh, so I. <laughs> okay, okay. So your question and my answer no match. Yeah. So then you are not answering. But but, but what mm -hmm. happened if, for example, I uh, I try to um, identify the the answer, but I don't finish. I didn't finish that answer, and and the principal idea is time is over. The sixty second. What happened in this case? then you need, you are not clear and you yeah. lose points for not being clear because okay. you have to speak in a clear, precise way. And this okay. is very important. And this is where I said, this is part of the culture. Yeah. Because remember, in Latin America, we do not speak directly. We do, yeah. we, we try to speak very nicely and long and do this. And American culture is very direct and short. And that's why you need to be clear with what your answer is, not yeah. begin the introduction. So, for example, what's your favorite food? Not begin, oh, well, you know, uh -huh. you a lot of foods. And in my country, <laughs> we have a lot of food. For example, in San Miguel, some people eat uh, pupusas with something and, and, then, and then finish the time. My favorite food is, it, what, 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 what happened? What happened? No, no, no. no. <laughs> You have a you have a, a task. The task is listen, mm. summarize, and express yourself. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's the most important. But it's very good question, Walter, because sometimes people like to give a lot of details and words, and it's good. But first, your goal is 
points. And the points are summarize the reading, explain uh, the speaker, and then describe with information or content. Oh, but, but teacher, doesn't matter if my answer is only for for 30 seconds for say something like that. It doesn't matter if That's my because, answer is only yeah. 25, 20 seconds. If finish, not a problem. Not no, it's in the, uh, not his problem if only speak 25 seconds or necessary, I need to speak 60 seconds. Yes, it's necessary to speak. The, it's going to record you. So uh -huh. the recording is one minute. If you stop speaking, the recording continues. Yeah. But what, what, what did you suggest? Is necessary to speak completely uh, 60 seconds of if in 30 seconds define the answer complete? Not a problem. No, 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 because you don't, if you, you don't answer the question in 30 seconds. I think need, uh, uh -huh. could be some question could be, I think is possible. No. Of course, but yeah. let, me, let me explain. For that, you lose points because you don't have vocabulary. Oh, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because if you speak in 30 seconds, you don't have vocabulary. Uh -huh. For example, okay. a color. Yellow. Yellow is a very beautiful color. You can find it in many types of flowers, which are attracted um, by bees or other areas. Um, I particularly think that yellow also is very used in a lot of... And only I say the word yellow. Yeah. But yeah, if, exactly. I don't, if I don't answer, if I don't continue, no problem. No vocabulary. No detail. Yeah. No fluency. No. Okay. Uh -huh. I got it. I got it. I understand but, that. Good. Sandra had a question or a comment. No, 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 nothing at all. Okay, okay, no problem. Okay, <laughs> let's continue. Tips. Thank you. Don't speak too quickly. Let's speak at a normal pace. Time yourself when you practice. How to approach this kind of speaking questions. Number one, be careful not to speak too quickly because this might make it difficult for the reader to understand you. The questions are designed so that if you speak at a normal pace, you will have enough time to give a complete response. You will get better at this if you time yourself when you practice. Question three, listen carefully to the speaker's reason for agreeing or disagreeing with points made in the reading. Make sure you summarize the opinion of the speaker. For question five, as you listen, focus on identifying and understanding what the problem and possible solutions are. Then write down a few keywords or ideas on your scratch paper. But remember, you need to do more than summarizing your response. You also need to give your opinion, so don't spend too much time summarizing. Use most of your time explaining why it is the best solution. A scoring criteria, zero to four. A score holistically. Before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from zero to four, and they are scored holistically, which means that the rater listens for various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Delivery. Clear and fluid speech. Good pronunciation. Natural pace. Good intonation. Language use. Use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development. How fully you answer. How clearly you express your ideas. How you connect ideas. And we're going to go back just to that part. One moment. And this had to do with Walter's question originally. And this is where you lose points or gain points for you. Because how did you fully answer? Did you really answer or only give a simple answer like yes, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, why does the speaker agree with that? Yes, the speaker agrees because he has the same idea. Mm -hmm. That's not a full answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's one. The second part, how clearly you express your ideas. Are you able to explain it so that someone they didn't read or someone that didn't listen to the information can understand. 
because that's the idea. The person who is listening does not have your question. They have your answer and they are only scoring you based on your information. Okay, so that's why you have to be clear with your ideas. And then, of course, the part of how you connected it. Were you able to make a connection between the listening and the speaker? Did you give the connection or did you put separate one and separate the other? Or were you able to join the two types of input into one? Okay. Now, also, as you heard, one of the ways that they score you is by the difference, the holistic approach. This means that they give you all of the ideas. They don't give you one for uh, pronunciation, one for uh, pace, one for, no. They listen and then they give you the score complete, which is clear and fluid speech, okay? I can listen and fluid is that you don't, ah, uh, eh, uh, uh, oh, uh, um, uh, it, 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 it. that is clear and fluid no stuttering no repeating and you constantly continue pronunciation is pronunciation natural pace is how fast or how slow you speak if you speak too slow it's bad if you speak if speak too fast it's bad you need to speak naturally so for example how was your weekend this is not good it's too slow and the same how was your weekend it's too fast you need to have the natural pace that's part of the points and then intonation intonation is how do you go up or down in the sounds for question statements and energy right so for example oh i am so happy today I love giving the class on Monday. I don't <laughs> want to go to a party. I want to be with you. Hoorah. No intonation, right? No intonation. It's very flat. It's, and the intonation, <laughs> oh, I'm super excited. I love to get the class. This is the intonation. So these are the areas for your speaking. And the other is the areas that you need to include when you speak. These are two parts. Asian. Natural pace, good intonation. Language use, use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully you answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Now, here are some activities that can help you build your skills for integrated speaking tasks, especially numbers three and five about campus situations. Find an online newspaper from an English speaking university. Look for topics about campus life. Choose an article to discuss with a partner. Record yourself and listen to how you speak. Listen to hear your mistakes as well as your tone and pacing. Find listening and reading material on the same topic. Outline a one minute response, including your opinion and supporting points. Practice improving your fluency. Try to smooth out your phrasing, use different wording, avoid pauses, use transition words, and so on. Now, this last part is very important because the idea is the second point there, okay? Fluency, yes, but the part where it says here, try to smooth out your phrasing, use different wording, avoid pauses, use transitions, and so on. It's important because you do not want to repeat the same words. No, very, very happy, very, very nice, very good, very you want to use different words that's one the other is transitions transition words are words that help similar like connectors for furthermore then also beyond that on the other hand you want to use words that help complement your opinions or the ideas those are some of the best ways to get the most points have a variety of vocabulary in words when you express yourself It's clear how questions number three and five are structured and evaluated. Okay. It's clear, Sandra, yes? Uh, well, yes, uh, they are clear, but um, um, as I didn't finish, 
uh, reading, I couldn't um, get all the ideas, you know. Okay. But uh, during the practice, I, I believe that we will continue. Yes, um, it's very important that we practice, the especially the two parts at the beginning, which are the transition. This is the part where you are quiet, thinking about what you want to say, and then the part where you speak for one minute. No more, no less. Learn to speak approximately one minute. This is the best way to guarantee the most points. Not 30 seconds, not 45, no one minute, 30 seconds. Try to stay focused between 55 and 60 seconds. This is going to help you to reach your goal. Good, thank you. You're welcome. Now we're going to learn a little bit more about the other type of questions. This is questions number four and six, and we're gonna learn how they develop and similar to the other one, a lot of information. Let's go over speaking questions four and six, the integrated speaking questions about academic courses. Introduction, question structure, approach tips, scoring criteria, skill building tips. Now we're going to look at how questions are structured. Question four. Read a passage, listen to lecture, 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. Here's generally what the question will look like and how they're structured. In question four, you will read a passage about academic subject. Then you will listen to part of a lecture on the same subject. You'll have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question six. Listen to lecture, 20 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to speak. For question six, you will listen to part of a lecture. Then you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak your answer. Question four. For question four, the reading passage will always be about an important academic term or concept that may be found in a first year college textbook. Then, when you answer the question, you will speak about how the example supports or illustrates the term or concept. For question six, the listening passage is an excerpt from an academic lecture on a single topic. Usually, it starts with the professor either defining a concept or highlighting an issue. Approach tips. Take notes while listening. Write down keywords or ideas. Review notes as you prepare your response. Don't repeat yourself to fill time. Say something to clarify, develop or elaborate. Practice timing yourself. Practice with academic text. You don't need prior knowledge of a specific fields. The questions test your English. Now here are some tips about how to approach these kinds of speaking questions. Number one, the topics for these questions can be from a variety of fields life science, social science, physical science, history, art, literature. And although it's important that you practice with academic texts, the questions are designed so that you don't need any prior knowledge in a specific field to answer the question. In other words, even though a question is about an academic topic, ultimately it is not testing your knowledge of that topic, it's testing your English. Scoring criteria, zero to four. A score holistically, before the test, make sure you understand what the raters are looking for and how the questions are scored. In the speaking section, all six responses are scored on a scale from zero to four. They are scored holistically, which means the raters listen to various features in your response and then give it an overall score. Scoring criteria, delivery, language use, topic development. Delivery, clear and fluid speech. Good pronunciation, natural pace, good intonation. Language use, use of grammar and vocabulary to express your ideas. Topic development, how fully your answer, how clearly you express your ideas, how you connect ideas. Skill building tips. Here are some activities that can help you build your skills for the integrative speaking tasks, especially number four and six about academic courses. Develop your academic vocabulary. Keep a list of new words and practice pronouncing them. Read an article and record a summary. Transcribe the recording and think of other ways to say the same thing. Find textbooks in English that include study questions. Practice answering the questions out loud. 
collect recording of yourself in an audio journal. Ask your English teacher to evaluate the recordings. Okay, so similar as before, very common, the same types of questions, or sorry, the same type of criteria when they are scoring you, right? What you need to do, how you need to speak, what you need to develop, all of those types of things. That's the same idea between both types of questions. Okay. Any comments or questions or something that is not clear for you? No yet. No question yet. Okay. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of how it looks so that way you can understand when you get the exam, what you need to look at. There are many different types of questions. Remember, you're gonna have approximately six questions in the test. All of them are a little bit different, but it's the same approach. To develop your skills, try to start reading more academic. Remember, TOEFL is academic test. This means it's not about life, it's not about your social skills, it's about university, college, uh, courses, studies. So that's why most of the reading, listening and speaking are related to those areas. The speaking is the same about the life, living in the dorms, uh, going to classes, changing buildings, things like this. Here, I'm gonna show you a type of question and the structure. Okay, so here, as you can see, we're gonna have, okay, you have about 45 seconds to read mm, the same. I'm sure some of you were thinking, oh, I have a long time to read. No, you have 45 seconds to read. After you read, then you listen to the announcement. Today, we're gonna go slowly, but we want to start developing a little bit more. The idea is just you can have a little bit more time to read, but do not get used to this. Every time, reduce and reduce and reduce the time because you have to do it in the exam. And if you take in this moment two minutes to read, in the exam, two minutes finished. Two minutes finish the question. So you have to read, you have to listen, and then you need to speak. So number one, you read. Number two, you listen to the people discussing. And then part three, you answer the questions. Remember, you're going to have 20 seconds or 30 seconds, depending on the question. And then you have 60 seconds to answer. And yes, you can finish before, but it's not recommended because then you, you're not going to get scores for vocabulary or grammar or other areas. As you can see, it's a lot of information. We have many different questions. So here we have number one and number two, two questions. And the idea is to help us with those several steps. Then here we practice the second question, question number five. What was the difference in number one? I'm oh, sorry, in questions number here, in number three, we have the reading and the speaking. But in question number five, it's a little bit different. Why a little bit different? Because we only have a listening and the question. These are the difference between both of them. Okay. So one more time, question number three, read, listen, speak. Question number five, listen, speak. It's okay, the two differences? Yes, sir. Okay, so we're going to go with our partners and we are going to try, you can use your cell phone, you can use the computer, you can use the clock in your house, but you want to try to get used to that type of information. So for example, me, I personally prefer a stopwatch. So I use the one for my cell phone. I have 45 seconds and I begin to read. The important is do not read quickly. Read so that you understand, but not so slow that you don't finish. Because if you read very fast, it's not reading, it's comprehension. So 
your stopwatch, right? Watch the time that they give you. Then you listen. Then you wait the timer again, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. And then you speak for one minute. Okay. As you can see, it's completely different from the beginning of the class. Talk about your weekend. Oi, do, 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 do. No, here, no. It's not it's speaking, but it's not the same level of speaking. Read, listen, then you answer the question for one minute. Are we ready to practice? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Please remember to have a timer on the computer and your cell phone, wherever you feel comfortable. But to make sure, because you have to time your partner. Okay. Any questions before we begin? Okay. Um, every every participant of every group, I need to give a different answer for the question in order to practice that. Correct. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you need to practice it exactly like that. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Any other questions? Okay. okay, I'm also going to, in this moment, in the chat, I'm going to send you a link. So if you want to read more, if you want to learn more about the speaking and the structure and the score, and also have some practice questions, at least there, you can have a little bit more information about the practice and how it works. Okay. Here, let me show you just a little bit so that it's clear. Okay. All right. So now I think everybody has the link. You opened it? Yes. This is for you for later, and you can do it whenever you want. In this moment, remember, have your timer, and you have a few minutes to do each one. Let's take a moment and go. Too many groups, sorry. Let's try. I see we have a lot of oyentes, so we're gonna have to mix that up just a moment to make sure that they get an idea. One second. Okay, I think now we have everybody distributed correctly. Daniel, any questions? Okay. For those that are at home, I'll share the screen with me. Hmm. There's the reading, the listening. Are you going to join our protest to stop their tearing down old Maine? You 
aren't marching about that, are you? We need a fine arts complex. I don't disagree with that, but the empty lot behind the sports arena could be used. Well, that's true, but it's a long distance to walk. So, what's so special about Old Main anyway? Well, Old Main was the first building, actually the only building, on campus in the early days, so it has historical value. We should try to preserve our heritage. You know, that it was built in the mid-1800s of stone, so built to last. I didn't know it was that old. But it doesn't have space for classrooms, and I imagine it's a huge expense to heat in winter. Well, in fact, those heavy walls keep heat in, so it isn't expensive. They could use it for offices. There's a shortage of offices for graduate students who have teaching assistantships. So now we read the questions and answer it. So let's take a look. What is the question? My apologies. There we go. The man expresses his opinion of the plans being made by University Board of Trustees. State his opinion and explain the reason he gives for holding that opinion. Okay. Very fast, correct? For me, no teacher. I think I am lost. You're finished, teacher. What happened? That's it. I will show you in this moment exactly what happened. You had 45 seconds. You had 45 seconds to read. Okay. I gave you one minute. You had 45 seconds to read. The listening is one minute. You had one minute to listen. And then the speaking is one minute to speak and 30 seconds to prepare. You had 30 seconds to prepare and you had one minute to speak. That is exactly the entire time. But I gave you four minutes complete just in case you had some problems. That is the most important part. You need to Remember, is not only answer the questions. Remember the same that I said the first day, the most difficult part of the exam, manage your time. You are responsible for your time. No one is going to say, oh, you have more time, you have less time. You have to control your time. If you lose time in one, you have to be faster in the other because the time is for each question is specific. Okay, don't worry. This is the class and we practice again. But I want for you to be clear why you need four minutes maximum. If you want to put an alarm for four minutes, put four minutes. It's okay. Because this is the maximum that you can have. And even four minutes is more than the time necessary. Why? Because listening one minute, speaking one minute, two minutes, reading 45 seconds, two minutes, 45 seconds, and preparation, 30 seconds. You only have three minutes and 15 seconds. 
but I understand. So we give you 45 seconds more to prepare. It doesn't sound like a lot because it's not a lot. You have to get comfortable with push, 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 quickly, 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 quickly now. So we practice again. Like I said, it's no problem. The same question, question number one. The idea is for you, we finish one partner. Now the next partner speak, finish one partner. Now the next, because you need to be fast with the information. No, oh, begin again. No, you already read, you already listened. Only the time that you're going to take is one minute speaking, finish the next partner, one minute speaking, finish the next partner, one minute speaking. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. About the link, mister, about the link, no, we don't work. We, we don't work in the, about the link. You send the link. No. 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 Oh, the plug. Oh, the correct platform. correct okay mm -hmm. yeah. remember the link is extra information if you want to read if you want to have an idea or you want to see a little bit more so that it's clear for you mm -hmm. okay teacher if the answer is about the the my opinion or Very good question. Let's look. Let's be clear. So we read about the campus and the board of trustees. Then we listen to the student. And let's read the question. Jancy, can you please read the question? The question. Uh, the man expressed the, his opinion of the plans being made by the university board and trustees. State his opinion and explain the reason he gives for holding that opinion. Okay. okay. So according to the question, what do you understand? Do we give our opinion or not give our opinion? His opinion about the man, he speak about the, the person who speak. Exactly. So if I say I agree, I disagree, less points, less points. Less points, because the question is not about my opinion. Mm -hmm. The question is his opinion, his reasons, what they state. That's the important. That's why always first summarize. According to the lecture, the board of trustees wants to da da da. The man agrees with this opinion because da, 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 da. not my opinion. Always facts and information that I listen or that I read. Yes? So let me give you an example so that it's easier when we practice with our partners. I go and I read. The University Board of Trustee has decided that the old main classroom building should be demolished to make room for the new fine arts center. The proposed building would serve the university drama, music, and art majors. Besides classrooms, the building would contain several stages, a main stage for visiting groups and a major production, and two smaller stages for experimental theater classes, a large concert hall and many practice rooms, and an exhibition hall with a permanent collection of artwork and space for students' temporary shows, as well as many workrooms. The heating and cooling system will be provided by Green Energy. Then I listen to the man. Ah, okay. One minute. Now I read the question. The man expresses his opinion of the plans being made by University Board of Trustee. State his opinion and explain the reason he gives for holding that opinion. I take my 30 seconds. I organize. And then I begin. According to the, re according to the reading, the Board of Trustees would like to demolish the current building and create a new one where they would have it for theater or for arts groups. The man agrees with this or the speaker agrees with this because he feels that it's a great way for it. Or the speaker disagrees with this because he thinks that the building is very significant for the community and has been there for a long time. He feels that it is best served by preserving architectural heritage and other er And then you begin, but not my opinion. So 
what did I do? Number one, summarize. Number two, explain he agree or disagree. And then the last part, why? What are the examples? What information do I have? What proof do I give for giving the man's statement? It's okay? Yes. Don't worry. You are not going to have perfect. Don't worry. You are not going to do a great job. You are going to do a good job. And little by little, we're going to get better to give great answers. So let's try one more time. Now the other partner that didn't speak. Let me put a little bit more time. There we go. I didn't realize my microphone was off. My apologies. So if you are watching at home, I under hope you understood the idea and the concept how to answer correctly. Important is first read. Make sure you understand what is the problem or what they are proposing. Then when you listen, listen for key words. Does the person agree? The person disagrees? The person supports it? They don't support it. And then, of course, why? What are the reasons or that they give for supporting or not supporting or agreeing or disagreeing with the concepts? After that, look at the question and answer it. Remember, if it asks you to express your opinion, it can, it's a different question. In questions number three, they will not ask you for opinion, but will ask you specifically for summary. They will ask you to summarize what is happening. And that's where you need to focus on. Don't worry, we will continue again tomorrow practicing more of these types of questions. Okay, so as you can see, it is necessary to practice to get experts, is to be clear on how to do it. It's not only, oi, I'm going to answer the question in the speaking test in the TOEFL. No, you need to learn how and the best ways to approach it. Tomorrow, we're going to continue practicing. Today, we only answer one question. It's okay. Tomorrow, we have more opportunities to answer other questions and the other types, okay? Okay. Thank you for connecting. Okay. 
Do Thank you. Thank you. I am lost. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.